show title is the alternative lifestyle worth it <clears throat> hey what's up guys what's going on on the other side out there what are you doing how are you hey this is your host adrian babishoff and i'm coming at you monday and we're on our way to work in our 7.3 liter this is our mobile studio forgive me for the background sound because while we're in the hustle we will be broadcasting live out of our pickup truck every morning on our way to the hustle and bustle. And I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about uh, is the alternative lifestyle design worth it? Uh, why I coined it the alternative. What are the alternatives? What do we got? If you don't like what you got, what's the alternative? Well, there's an alternative lifestyle design. We got, uh, we got time against us, guys. We got a whole lot of things. We've got, uh, I'm gonna talk about perspective of situation uh, of life overviews uh, time as far as two weeks do you get two weeks off a year or do you get three months or two months is it possible yes because I've done it and this is my sixth year in a row this will be my seventh I believe if I do it if I'm able and uh, desensitization desensitization towards everything and I've I'm experiencing it and it sucks and utilization of a method that may not seem, uh, I don't know, may not seem right to a lot of you. See, my family, well, well, let's get into it. Let's not spoil it. Jeez, save something for the honeymoon. All right, uh, welcome to another edition of Up and In, and I'm your host, Adrian Babishoff, and if you're new here, welcome as well. And if you're wondering what the show is about, it is dedicated to creating an alternative lifestyle design that promotes better life for people and planet exploring alternatives to the daily grind through liberation and independence, moving you from surviving to thriving and living life raw. Finally, the phlegm, I think, that strep throat, the cold's gone. It is January, January something, I think like the 13th, 14th, somewhere around there. And I don't know why I have to keep putting that in. The uh, dates I see other podcasters doing, so I'm following suit, huh? Going against my word. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, yeah, what's going on? I hope everything's well out there, and I'm really excited to do these shows. I'm, I want to uh, want to explore this uh, alternative lifestyle design thing, huh? What the heck do I mean by all this? I think we have a race against time, and for me, uh, I've said this over and over again, but we only have so much time, guys. And what are you doing with your time? And if we don't like where we're in. Like this whole system's design, the, the current one we have right now with people in debt and in a mortgage and all those kind of deals, it's like we're, we're cemented in. And yes, some of them happen fast, but I think the lifestyle design of the way we're living, the things that we're implicating in our lives, we didn't get here overnight. We sure the fuck ain't going to get here or get out of here overnight. So I kind of wanted to explore those things, especially the time element as the number one. For me... I have a, I'm a single father and I've got to figure something out fast because there's no way you're going to run a company with a special needs kid. It's just ridiculous. Besides my uh, mental retardation of uh, trying to keep everything together, uh, combined with my special needs daughter, yeah, we're not really a good team here. <laughs> just kidding. Jokes, folks. Jokes. I can joke. I got a special needs kid uh, who has a special needs father. But yeah, this time thing is has got to be, I think you've got to make a decision. You've got to really ask yourself the question of, of like, how fast is my life improving? Where is it that I want to go? You know, my big pondering right now is that I'm in my mid forties and I want to possibly purchase a home. And I'm like, dude, you may not live to see when that debt is paid off, when that's cleared, a 30 year fixed loan. You may be dead by then, especially the hustle and bustle if you've got to work your ass off for it. Is it worth it? And so that, that long game, that long game effect, I think in the present situation of people like me, you kind of screwed yourself. And I don't think that there's, it's, it's a no, it's, it's like, this is a, I'm not going to be able to do it. There's definitely ways. That's what the show is about. For instance, on that note right there, as I always preach to give inspiration to you guys is always be looking for loopholes. One of the loopholes I look in that is to buy myself a house with a big enough piece of property here in Southern uh, California and maybe turn the other end into a rental. And rent is ridiculous out here. It's like, you gotta look at everything, all the laws and all the things that are going on. But I look at a two, three bedroom house out here is going for like two grand to $2,500 a month. Um, that would probably be 
my uh, mortgage on like a $500,000 loan would probably be around $2,600, $2,800 a month. That's not worth it unless we start incorporating things as, as I just said, as I just mentioned. So very scary, um, I think a lot of the perspective on time is what you do when you're younger, you know? how it affects your life if you don't go and get yourself a career or something you know while you're living under your parents roof you've got you've got low overhead you don't have a kid you're not hooked on drugs or alcohol or drama or whatever it is like you got your whole life ahead of you i think we in my opinion we always have our life ahead of us it's just what we do with it and that's the point so looking at myself now i don't know what situation um yeah, uh, you guys are all in, but it takes a lot of work, man. That's what I've been kind of posting on the TikTok, I think, and the Instagram is, man, I'm, I'm running full time, but that's what I need to do to get myself ahead. And I think that an alternative lifestyle design is definitely possible, and I'm definitely uh, experiencing the flow of life, as I said on yesterday's podcast, that things start to, to run like a clock. And if you have the time to sit there and look at the whole situation, uh, which is coming up next. So I guess let's get into that's number two is perspective and life on life situations and an overview. So to be able to get an overview of what the heck is going on, where are you stuck? How did you get here? How are you going to get out? Uh, going back on the time thing is I think that you're going to have to do, you're going to have to bust your ass, man. Every free moment that you have. You've got to, you've got to work. You've got to, first of all, you need to come up with a plan. But I think before you come up with a plan is you've kind of got to get that overview of like, well, what is going on? And I recommend that I've said this before is that you guys really take a look at where all the fat is in your life. What are the unnecessary things and what's the bleeders? You know, those things that are just bleeding you out financially, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. Identify with those things. But I think we also, as I teach on here about uh, expenses, is there such things as ghost expenses, things that we don't think about, you know? Like for instance, in the, in the expense category, it's like tires on your car or your cell phone. It's things that you don't think of that are costing you money every month because eventually you're gonna have to buy new tires for your car, right? Or you're gonna have to buy a new cell phone. It's, it's, especially when Apple changes things up and you can't update your phone anymore. So, I think that there's things in your life like family members, friends, and just your own ideas floating on in your head to get that get that overview of what's going on and figure out what your enemy is basically right so once you have that now you need to plan around what you what you've got so for instance i'll give you guys uh what i'm doing right now and hopefully this uh gives you some perspective of what i'm talking about so i need to take care of my daughter full time right and i've got a construction business i do roofing construction and other things as well but mainly uh, roofing I can't do this with a special needs daughter uh, in tow all the time. So I understand that I need to get something else going where I can take her with me. And that's my whole biodegradable container gardening system. And those are things where I could do lectures at parks or at my spin farm locations. And I can have my daughter sitting right there with me. Yes, there's complications, you know. Uh, these, I just want to give you guys an example so you guys can kind of see what I've got to do. Like I've got to change her diaper. So on my spin farm, I've made sure that I've had areas that the, the properties that I'm utilizing, I'm able to back my truck and trailer in there so I can offload uh, supplies and th things of that nature. That's the hurt locker. That's what I call her. That's what you're listening to. That's the background noise right now. Uh, but I've also converted the back with an entire bed system so I can change diapers so I can, you know, I think I'm hoping people will be forgiving and understanding, you know, if, the, if there's a lecture that goes on for about an hour that I can step out, change a diaper and get my whole system there. I got hand sanitizer and water in there, lights and and everything's set up. So these are the obstacles that I have to, to uh, go through. And uh, I also have that maybe if the, the group got so big in my, my uh, container gardening club that I may need to seek like public areas like parks and things of that nature. So there's all of these things I gotta keep thinking, the overview of it. And I, I know what my problem is. I've gotta get my kids financially set for the rest of our lives finding the angles and figuring things out and getting multiple multiple ideas and trying things i mean i don't think that you should burn yourself out um, unless you're the type like me that's able to do it because you see uh, i speak a lot about how i'm starting all kinds of new businesses and um, so this is the part that i think i do experience burnout 
but you gotta take some time off every once in a while, stay healthy, eat your vitamins, and stay positive too. But the things that I'm working on is like a buyer's club, right? I research products and stuff that are biodegradable, eco-friendly, people-friendly, you know, fair exchange and all that. I do all the hard work so that people could just go and buy the products and I'll have an entire store. And, and I, I'm gonna see if it works. You know, this go also goes in conjunction with the Biodegradable Container Gardening Club. These people want to garden. They, they think gardening's hard. I've invented and thought of ways and implemented them where I've made it almost effortless and seamless. So people are going to want to learn. But by being a member and paying money, just like the Buyers Club online, these people also get access to all the goods that I have to offer there at a discounted price, mind you. Also in cooperation with that is the local mom and papa stores around here using the Violet card. It's, it's the Violet's Farms. I'm not sure what I'm going to call my operations other than the biodegradable container gardening. But as that card gets shown to local coffee shops, haircuts, pet supplies, restaurants, and things like that, uh, my members get a 10% discount. So by paying in to becoming a member of my group. So those are a lot of different things that I'm working on um, to, to make some residual incomes. I'm hoping maybe one day too, that may, if this podcast ever goes someplace, that I'd be able to somehow monetize this through sponsors or, or what have you. I think the potty mouth is definitely gonna probably ruin that, but this is the, like the only free thing that I have where I can be myself, so I say fuck it. So yeah, an overview. So you see all of the things that I'm working on. If one of them fails, maybe one of them will pick up and they'll work but I need to know what my obstacles are so I can make my plan around what I'm doing and actually make this thing happen. It's take the dream uh, from a dream into the real world, into a reality. And I think there's definitely obstacles for all of us, you included. You just need to really, really dig down, put your ego aside, put your dreams and your hopes aside and make sure that you can know your opponent. And most of the time, the opponent is basically ourselves. That's very sad to say, but even with me is like, I, I doubt myself sometimes. And even though I appear probably fully confident, we always have those, those things, you know, in the back of your head. So moving on to the next, a two week versus a three month uh, uh, vacation. Is it worth it? I think by all of these workings, all of these things that some of you might be looking at going, man, my life is already hard. And why do I want to make it even harder? Well, guess what? Uh, unless some of you guys got some systems, you're, you're, you've got your life designed and there's nobody designing it for you. I like the government or uh, poverty, you know, you're, you're happy, uh, then you're all good. But I think most of us, there's, in life, there's always progressions. There's always ways to improve things. That's what I constantly, constantly look at. Um, you know, like, for instance, um, my daughter wants to start eating healthy. She, her, mom, her mother feeds her a bunch of junk food, I guess, and she's very unhappy with that. Uh, my oldest daughter, not my special needs. So I made a juice and then I'm finding out that she's leaving my jars and stuff and at her mother's house and it gets really irritated. And then I don't know if she's even drinking the stuff. So I switch it around and what I do is I make her a jar of juice, but it's got to stay at my house. And you go ahead and drink that thing. And if it's not done, if it's not gone by the next day, I give it to my special needs daughter or I drink it so it never goes to waste. Trying to plan around people and things, right? And uh, that's what I'm getting into this two weeks vacation. I'm only saying this because I don't really get out much, but I, I do believe that most of you will get one week off vacation, paid vacation. Uh, I think the, the gooders, the good doers here that have been in it for a while get like two weeks. I'm assuming that's the norm for you nine to fivers. Um, and I look at that and I'm like, man, it takes at least, you have gotta have like at least 10 days minimum, man. 10 days of just absolutely doing nothing. I'm not talking about flying or driving to some place. Like you need to sit for like 10 days, I think is the magic number, before you forget about your jobs and your worries and things and start to just really feel your environment around you, at least in my experience. But I think it's pretty much universal. I think the, the longer you're out, the more energized you get having to go back. Unless you're happy about what you're doing, that's a great thing and I applaud you. That you're happy to get back to work but i think for the majority of us it's safe to say we're just like oh my god it has been a nice vacation you know on, the, on this note i've heard a lot of people say they need a vacation from their vacation and that is really bothering me like you i guess what people do is spend thousands of dollars to go to uh some place you know 
uh, the, the Cancun or something, you know, some tropics. And they're like, I paid a lot of fucking money here and I'm going to damn well get all my money's worth. You know, we went to Disney World, they rode every single ride. And now they're just, they're coming home, they're just like tired as fuck. What the hell is that all about? But anyways, each to their own. But on this show's message here, the three months vacation for summer that, that happens for me is hell of a lot of work. It, it is worth it, guys. I mean, not only... Look, I do roofing construction, right? It sucks. It is dangerous. It is hard. And after that three months is up, man, I'm like so excited to get back to work. And I think I've explained this to you guys before, where I think my relationship with money is a lot different. My perspective is that it's not necessarily money that I'm after. It's that vacation or like my, my bat wing awning I got on my truck, which I named the Hurt Locker. Uh, that bat wing awning turns into a whole entire tent. It works for me at work as well. Uh, that's the main reason I got it. But for my, my vacations, oh my God, guys, it's a game changer. Just adding all these details to my truck, man. It's just, it's so awesome and wonderful. And like every year making things even better and better. Um, so yeah, that's my relationship with money is what it could actually get me. And I think that... Uh, I think that you guys all need to experience that time off at one point in your life like to this is the rest of your life guys going back on the time thing is like are you gonna spend the rest of your life doing what you're doing right now I think at least in my life and I think I could say for yours as well if you have the balls to take a, a kind of a look at it is like the momentum that we are moving at to change things for the better for the most part for us, just like my biodegradable, all my businesses I just spoke to you about, besides my construction one, I'm not getting anywhere fast, guys. Like, I am working my ass off. Yeah, that's fine. But there's a website that needs to be built. There's promotion, there's web, uh, marketing, there's the actual baskets and farming goods, the things that I gotta make because it's my own invention. I can't buy them anywhere. And even if I had to buy them, I'd have to work to make the money for it. But I'm just inching my way. So my question is myself, when I come home and I feel tired and I'm like, you know what? I just want to relax. I don't want to do anything. And then I think to myself, how long is it going to take before you, uh, you're able to actually build? When are you going to have the product? We've been talking about this for a month. And I think in some of our lives, like I've looked at before when I was together with the Xbox, the mother of my children, things were moving very, very slow. And it just felt like it was a prison, man. Like this is going to go on for the rest of your life. I believe it would have too, if we would have stayed doing what we were doing. Uh, and the, hence that separation is now I have financial freedom and I can make moves and things without somebody, without having to compromise with somebody else and to, to uh, have to be a business partner or a life partner with somebody who doesn't understand and wants to take their time at a slow, you know, ride the tricycle instead of taking a rocket. So I think that we need, we need to get that in perspective guys is how much time, what are you doing about it to make that change and uh, what does your plan look like? How many years, you know, you can do this easily. Just like MPG in a car, I was just telling, uh, actually the Xbox this the other day, she wants to go get another job and it's about an hour's drive and she says it's more money. I says, is it more money? Check out the MPG on your car and then let's, then look at that. Google map, how long, or not how long, but how what the distance is to get there on a round trip there and back. And then I want you to divide how much money it's gonna cost you per day, per month, per year, and then add that into with your hours drive or maybe even an hour and a half drive of time that you're not getting paid for. Whereas you have a job that's five minutes from your house right now when you could be doing, spending an hour and a half maybe per day. That's For her, it's two hours. You can imagine where I'm going with this, guys. I think I've got something here. I've got to accept that, that I can definitely share it with you guys. I'm not the dummy ape that I think that I am. Although, okay, let's not talk about that. I still am the dummy ape, but two hours per day that you can do some sort of online course, right? Stay where you're at right now, just getting by, eating shit as I say, and spending two hours a day, you will definitely get somewhere by applying those two hours instead of sitting in traffic and saving some money on gas. I can see there's some variables and stuff in there, you know, uh, but yeah, I don't want to break this all into whole detail and go into that, but yeah, gotta get that in perspective. And I d definitely think time, you guys, time off is well, well worth it. Is, is it worth all the hustle that I'm doing right now? Definitely, and I think that for for my uh, my mini vacation my, or my mini retirements is hell, hell yeah. But what I'm so excited is that my life just keeps getting better, and uh, I will have the rest of my life off. I will be doing something that I love to do, 
uh, and stacking functions, making health, making a difference in the world, helping to save the planet, and promoting mama and papa stores and community and all these things. I'm sure it's just going to be great if it happens the way I think it is. And that's worth taking a gamble, and that's worth putting in all the time, because you don't know until you try. Um, I beat that one up enough, didn't I? God damn, well, I hope it's positive, you know, and, and you guys like it. Uh, but uh, this one is, okay, desensitization, the food has no flavor. You guys, I am a sushi lover. Uh, I don't get out much, but I do get out to eat sushi. And the last couple times I have, uh, it, it just seemed like it all tasted the same. I went to a buffet to get some food. Like lately, I guess I'm getting older. Uh, my mom and older people are telling me like, hey, when you get older, you got nothing else in your life. You turn to food. I'm like, I'm starting to believe that. And what's sad is that nothing's really tasting like, although the country fried steak and egg breakfast that I got with gravy, oh my God, that was really, really good. In fact, that sounds good right now, but I'm not going to go there. Uh, but for the most part, all of my favorite foods and everything just kind of been like flavorless almost. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that, you know, where you get, you spoil yourself and you get these things in your face and in your life all the time that you don't appreciate them. And that's what I mean by, um, this well, disorientation as well, but, uh, desensitization is like, I think that we take for granted almost everything around us because it becomes so familiar. And I think it's human nature, right? It's just human nature, like my dog passing away. I knew that she was, at some point she would go, uh, but I, I never knew the level of appreciation and love that I had for that animal until it was gone. You know that song? Don't know what you got till it's gone. What is that, like White Snake or some shit from the 80s? But uh, it is, it is until it's gone. And I think it's very healthy in our lives to uh, is the alternative lifestyle design worth it? Because the alternative lifestyle design is simple life and it's doing without a lot of things. And I think that what I notice is I'm going on a sushi cutoff here, right? I'm blocking myself out. Uh, and I know that when I come back to it after maybe two, three months or something, however long it is, that I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of it, you know? And eat beans and rice with soy sauce and like simple vegetables. And I've been eating hard boiled eggs. Check out today too on TikTok or uh, Instagram. I'm gonna show you guys my lunch. Oh, it's freaking superb, superb. But I've been eating eggs guys for like two months. Hard boiled eggs and hummus um, with salted Himalayan pink salt chips to help with the blood pressure. Uh, I've got some kimchi for the, ba the bacterial gut. Just take about a teaspoon every single day. Stacking functions, it's, it fills me up. What doesn't fill me up? It gives me some food, but also gives me the, the probiotics that I need. And it's in my belief that when you have living organisms, as these probiotics are, we actually have food to eat instead of sitting in a pill form. I don't know what the hell they put in there, but they're also multiplying and multiplying. I believe that you have probably, who knows? I couldn't even put a number on it. But it makes sense to me that you'd have way hell of more of this, this microbiology going into your gut flora by eating something that's living and good. So yeah, uh, and I've been, uh, now I'm going to, it's like so simple too. I'm, I had these wild yellowfin tuna sandwiches that I'm gonna make for next week and I'll, I'll put that on the show because I think I'll be killing off the eggs. So the, the two month or yeah, about two month egg, hard boiled egg thing is over. But it's like, you guys, it's like lunch for me is like six hard boiled eggs and it's like a dollar 20, you know? A little sip of uh, some juice and stuff, so I'm saving money. But when I do get to eat that food and experience things in my life, like my, my mini vacations, I think that it just comes in so passionate, so rich, because you haven't had it in your face. And I, I really think that you guys should think about that in your life. Like if things are becoming numb, you know, and you feel desensitized, Try it, man. It's like, it's a gift. You're going to save money. You're stacking functions, uh, especially with the food thing. You're going to lose weight by not eating so much junk food. And it's going to make you happier, I think, in the long run. And I think that's the long game. I keep talking about that, but it's so important. We're not, we're thinking about tomorrow and not about, uh, or we're thinking about today and not tomorrow. And those are the little gifts that you can get yourself. And it really will give you perspective and give you some respect for yourself that you can do something so simple as not splurge for, and waste your money even if you have the money, don't splurge. Just do an exercise and know that you are in control of your life. Not as they say, all the gut bacteria that love sugars, they're making you crave, you know, donuts and stuff. <laughs> Which could be, could be. But know that, tell those parasites, tell those bacteria, fuck you. I'm the one in charge here. You're all going to listen to me and bow down. I am your master. <laughs>
but no, be the best you that you can be. So let's move on to the next, uh, the next thing is an alternative lifestyle worth it through utilization of the paper towel method. So this is the last one I've got on my notes here, guys. And the paper towel method is, let me explain where context of where I'm coming from, because most members in my family, most, not all, uh, when we look at a roll of paper towels, it's like, that was a fucking tree, man. And it feels disrespectful to sit there and blow your nose in it and just throw it away. You know, we're into like, well, when we can, right now I'm not utilizing bamboo uh, toilet paper because it's a rene renewable resource and everything. Um, and respect for life, basically. And I'm not talking about just singing out just paper towels. It's the paper towel, paper towel methodology that can go for many things in life. So as I said earlier in the show, we didn't get here overnight. We sure as hell ain't getting out. So what I mean by the paper towel is paper plates, paper bowls, paper towels. I am working my ass off, right? And I was killing myself for a while by washing all my rags and everything that I, I used rags instead of paper towels to wipe the grease out of my, you know, my dishes and things of that nature and wipe down the table and all that. Now I'm just throwing, I'm, I'm, I'm a throwaway person. I'm a typical American. And you know what? It doesn't feel good. But I know what does feel good is that I've accepted that, as weird as it sounds. Stay with me, don't unsubscribe or call me an asshole. Um, it's leading towards utilizing the system to get off of the system. So because I'm using paper towels and I'm using paper bowls and plates, and I am wasteful in some sort, in some fashions, that it affords me to work more on getting my residual incomes coming in, right? And it affords me more time to actually design other things to figure out, well, how can I streamline dishwashing? I haven't got that one down yet, you know, wash as you go, but I've got so many hats to fill that it's impossible. So what I've learned is to, is I accepted in myself, <coughs> and it still is hard even till today, to just use that paper towel, man. I can wipe down my counter and throw that shit away in like a quarter of the time. And I can start stacking functions with these horrible throwaway things I haven't gone so far as plastic cups yet. I can't do that. I probably should, but I, I don't know. We don't drink that much drinks, but I don't know. I can't do the plastic. I'd rather murder trees, I guess, than fucking uh, get some wasteful chem plastic chemicals that are going to take hundreds of years to biodegrade. <laughs> it's just a crazy thing. But no, fuck that. It's about getting ahead so you never, ever, at the final end game, as long as it's not going to take years and years, we will have a plan and a lifestyle design where we no longer need those ever, ever again. So I think it's a pretty good thing to look at yourself, to give yourself some self-forgiveness and to notice that, man, life, the, the struggle is real. As I said on the uh, last podcast, and uh, building an alternative lifestyle design is, is, is difficult at first. It's a lot of trial and error. And I think that's what you guys are going to be able to glean off me is all the stuff that I've tried and failed at, but all the stuff I've done and succeeded at. Uh, it has it. It's taking a lot of time and I and I definitely feel there's some value and that's what I want to give to you guys from all the things that I try because as I said I like my buyers club that's the whole idea was getting the view the overview of how busy people are they don't have time like me I wanted to buy CBD I'll put it in contest for, uh, context for you I wanted to buy CBD for myself because it helps with anxiety and having a high paced uh, attitude like I do a work drive and running around and always trying to fix every problem gives you high anxiety so i wanted to buy some cbd oil and i come to find out through the cdc is that they busted the company that i was buying from saying that you guys have like three percent cbd in this right and uh you can't be we got to put some sort of cap on this where it's got to be at least 50 percent or something you know because that's bullshit. people ain't going to get the effects you know of what you're selling here so all these kind of things takes time to research uh uh paraffins and stuff like in my diapers especially these daughters wipes there's the whole Johnson & Johnson thing where using baby powder, this, this late woman uh, stated that it caused cervical cancer. And you know, you try to figure out all of these things, are they fair trade, are they really organic? Are they grown in Mexico, you know, with some crazy organic uh, uh, schedule or organic, uh, or no like chaperoning, no, no uh, uh, taken care of. You know, I can imagine in, in Mexico, they're just like, fuck it, you know? Not saying they are, but you know, you guys kind of don't have the greatest of rap sheets for on, in my book. But those are the things I look at we don't have time for. And for me, I just try to take one bit at a time. And I know that people are so busy and struggling so hard that they, uh, it, it's very difficult to get that perspective. So I hope that, that this message finds you guys great. And I, think, I hope that I've explained how to utilize the system against the system. 
Uh, even the government of like sales techniques, the one I just saw was I had to go get gas in my truck, right? And they're just blaring this commercial super loud at me. And I was like, that's genius. I got angry, yes, but let's look at the system and observe it. Look at how it moves, just like I said with the gas pump. These people at the gas station looked and said, hey guys, if you pay us, we're gonna, we're gonna install these big old speakers with a little TV and we're gonna play your ad every time someone's pumping gas. And guess what? They can't walk away from that pump. They're gonna have to listen to it. They're gonna have to take it. So sponsor us or whatever. You see the, the ingenuity of that? How can we reverse this as they say in martial arts? When, when you have to fight a bigger opponent or, or someone's attacking you, don't, don't give your energy to them. Block the blow and send the energy back on them. So utilize the paper plate method or the, or the paper towel method, I'm sorry. Figure out what you got in your life to change it to make a better life for your, your children, for yourself, for the animals, the planets, the insects, all living organisms, the ocean, the energy, spirit of fucking life, of goodness and well-being. Aim yourself towards that. We don't, we're, we are definitely not stuck here, guys. We are not stuck here. If we are, it's because we've allowed somebody to design our lives for us and telling us what we should and shouldn't do. And we don't need that shit. Um, I wanna be the life, I'm gonna keep going forever, dude, until the day I fucking die. That's my life's work, is fuck this. I will build something fucking different for my life and I already am and I'm fucking proud of it and you should be as well. And don't, don't get deterred. There's definitely ways for us to change this shit around and I would love for you guys to share your tips and tricks and uh, things that you're interested in. So comment guys, comment and let me know how I'm doing for you guys and what you guys wanna hear about. So that's the show. Uh, check out, uh, you know, like I said, Instagram and Facebook. There's a private group there. I post stuff that I don't post anywhere else. Uh, TikTok and YouTube and uh, you know of course the, Sp the Spotify and all that where you can hear the podcast so you guys go out there and have yourself a near life experience don't lose your muchness carry on the fire human up live it love it own it and oh, own it guys thanks for being here